Hey everyone, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. So lately, a lot of my friends have been asking me yes. if I picked up Fallout 76 and what were my thoughts on it. The answer to that question, however, is a no, which is also why I'm using a playthrough of Fallout 4 for this video and not Fallout 76. Those same friends have also been asking if I have any interest in picking up Fallout 76 or should they buy me Fallout 76 as a Christmas gift. Again, I have no interest in picking up Fallout 76 and for the love of God do not buy me Fallout 76 for Christmas. This has baffled almost all my friends because they know I'm a huge fan of Fallout. In fact, my favorite mug is a Fallout mug. I've had that for about a few years now. However, I'm also very hesitant to pick up multiplayer only games. I've discussed this in previous articles how there are major risks for both uh, the developers and the players because it all depends on building a community. If you don't have a community built, it's a it's not gonna scale and for the player it's they just waste to their money. And from what I've seen with Fallout 76, anything that could go wrong with a multiplayer only game has gone wrong. However, I did have an interest in Fallout 76. That once upon a time moment was after E3. I think you gotta love the trailer. It was Fallout and they had taken home Country Road by John Denver. I mean that got my attention right there. I mean that got giving me a cigar and a and a nice cup of coffee. You have that gets my attention right there. Anything you have to say, I'm listening now. So why did I lose my interest over time? Well that's because they start revealing details and when they start talking about stuff like how players will be creating the story and how there's no NPC human, I knew this game was going to get on arrival. I mean let's do the math. To have a world that players create themselves, uh, that's, you're going to need players that are far more than what World of Warcraft had at the peak of its popularity, which is not going to be possible. And now we come to this. Right now the game's just been panned by critics everywhere. Players are hating it, it's not selling well. I mean, I've only seen my friends play it. I've probably played it at their house for maybe an hour or so. I'm not impressed with what I see. However, I'm not going to really review it since, again, I've not played it enough to actually give it a accurate review and a lot of my information is coming from what other critics have talked about it or what commentators have said about it and so far I'm not like I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Also I really don't want to put in the time to actually play it properly, then write my review. However I want to talk about the mistakes and hopefully if someone from the best is watching this, take a notepad, take some notes because I understand you guys have wanted to make a online MMO RPG Fallout game for a long time. This has been a dream project for you guys and you kind of dropped the ball, but you've got to break a few eggs to make an online and this is actually more of a learning experience that hopefully next time you guys can make the uh, better Fallout online experience. Because honestly, I actually did want this game to succeed. I really did want it a good MMO RPG Fallout game. So these are the mistakes that were made and what the best they could do next time when they are trying to make the Fallout MMO RPG. Now the first and most important lesson is do not use Destiny as an example. I always describe Destiny as being the most successful failure in media history. It has had such a major impact in game development and Hi. shaping Welcome, other neighbor. MMO first person shooters. However, the game was total crap. In fact, every time I would describe a game that's like Destiny, it's I always followed with the word better. For example, the Tom Clancy's The Division, right it's basically uh -huh. Destiny only better. See? This comes I'm down good. to the next well, lesson. Just, Do mm -hmm. not go for that create your own story Don't experience, okay? In theory, I know you want to give players choices, but it never works out. Destiny did it, it didn't work out. Anthem's trying to do it and people are concerned. Tom Clancy's The Division didn't do it and it worked fantastically in their favor. 
and it's especially not going to work with the Fallout lore because it's so story rich that players want to interact with NPCs. They want an actual story. We want to go on quests that have purpose. We don't want to read. We don't want to look at terminals. We, we want, want a story rich environment that we want to interact with. That is what makes video games so great, is the interactive experience. Interacting with other people in games is just an awful experience. Half the time they're trying to kill you, the other half the time they're just trying to, they're just saying like stupid stuff, and other times they don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, the only online experience I like with other players is in Call of Duty, and that's because they're just trying to murder each other. I don't have to talk to them. In fact, I just turn the mic off, and so like, it's just kill or be killed. I don't want to do that in Fallout. I don't want. I don't want to build settlements with other peoples. I want to build settlements with NPCs. Next is you guys should have really reformed the gameplay mechanics to fit the MMORPG style. Stuff like the fast system really didn't work in this game. I've also felt that other of the RPG elements were kind of lost because of the whole, whole like, online experience and a lot of that should have been reformed or tweaked in a way to better suit the online experience. Now come to the final mistake that was made and that is this game should have been a companion piece with Fallout 4, not a standalone game. Again, I understand that Bethesda has always wanted to make an online Fallout game. But you know what? Rockstar has also always wanted to make a good GTA online game, and they experimented. First they made the community making online multiplayer mods, then they had companion pieces that went with Grand Theft Auto 4. Finally you had Grand Theft Auto Online, which added a ton of stuff to do in a game that was already fully packed with content. And that's what Bethesda should have done. Fallout 76 could have worked great as a companion piece to Fallout 4, while also allowing Bethesda to experiment with making an online Fallout game. With the lessons learned, they could have then made an MMORPG Fallout game similar to the World of Warcraft. And from there, just keep adding and adding and adding onto the game. So even though Fallout 76 didn't do so well, you I really hope that well, it doesn't abandon this then. idea. I now, actually wanted to see an, a good online Fallout game, but things I'm didn't really out work out. Hopefully, I would I hope they learn from their mistakes and apply them apply that trouble. to the next Plenty game. Well, that's my thought on Fallout 76. If I missed something, please share it in the comments way. section below. If you like what you saw, uh, please support us on Patreon. Also check out my website, 8bitdigit.com. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone.